Okay folks, we're going to start making some progress on the uh, paint now. We're going to paint this in Mr. Surfacer 100, uh, sorry 1000 grey. We're going to put some rapid thinners in it to thin it down a little. We're probably going to do about 50-50 to see where we go. So for the Mr. Surfacer, I've never used this stuff before, first time using it. Brand new bottle. Nicely done. I'm going to use a shot glass. We're going to mix some, some up in here. So I think that'll do for that. Just clean some of this excess up quickly. Pop that back on. So rapid dry finish. So like I say, I want a 50-50 mix. Should dry quite quickly, hence the name of the rapid thinners. We're going to give this a good old mix. Okay folks, the uh, primer is all dried now and it has gone down nice and silky smooth. It's come out absolutely lovely. I'm impressed uh, how well the surface has come out. They definitely say what it does. Um, our next step is to do dirty white colour for the Falcon. So what we have here is basically what I mentioned before. It's the flat white with a tiny bit of buff in it just to turn it off white so it's not pure stark white because you don't want it to be so bright we're going to see how we go this is a full bottle if i don't have enough i'm going to have to mix some more so we're going to have to hopefully see how we get on
Okay folks, we're going to start decals now. The paint is all cured and done. Um, it's nice and smooth, so I don't really need a gloss coat. But I will do a gloss coat after I've done the decals, but it's, it's more than enough. Um, so we're going to start with this back part. We're going to do the red and some grey parts. Um, so here are, the, are some of the markings that we will need. I'm going to use Tamir Mark Fit Strong, which is a pretty simple solution. It's all in one. Get your warm water as normal. Um, get some tweezers. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take these numbers off. I do know what numbers they are because otherwise I don't want these numbers to be floating in my uh, actually on the deco itself. So you're going to nip these off quick. So just basically plop your decals face down. That's the best way I find. They don't curl up so much. Um, just get them soaked in. Leave them in the water for a little while. Once they uh been soaking, you can always take them out. You pretty much know how to do decals, but I'm just going to quickly show you how I do some of them. Get your mark fit strong ready. And work out what location. So this one here is number 46, this is 47, and this is 48. Once they start to move off the paper, you can see that they're moving freely. To get your mark fit strong, basically it's a down solution and a solution that you put on top of your models. So work where it's going, so it's going to go here, number 46. So you want to completely cover the whole area with decal solution. Get your tweezers. Slide this into place. You can use always use a paintbrush. You can use your finger and end of a cocktail stick. That looks pretty good to me in place. So once you're happy with it in place, get a cocktail stick, no sorry not cocktail stick, a uh, cotton swab, burnish it into place a little bit, get some of the excess water off, do not rub it too difficult because it can slide around sometimes. So once you're happy, most of these are going to be pretty okay because they're in flat surfaces, they shouldn't create many air bubbles. So I'm happy with that and now again just get your mark fit strong and again you just plaster it all over the top of the decal and now you just leave it to let it do its thing. It's going to soak, it's going to wrinkle, do not touch it now because you can mess the decal up completely. So you want to move on to your next one. The next one is one, two, one, two, three, four from the outer side so one two three four this one here is going to be the 48 which is this one on the end here so again same thing before just plast this on decal should be even more softer now than it was before Is in the place. Okay. 
actually my mistake, it's actually here. I miscounted it, it actually goes one, one along further. So I'm happy with that. Again, rub the uh, cotton swab over it, just get the access water off. So we're happy with that again, just plaster some over the top of it. And now we're just going to have to completely cover the whole shipping markings.